Georgia still chasing a gold medal on day two of the Tbilisi Grand Slam. Unfortunate here for Davalashvili. Gets done for head diving. And then Shavtar Tuashvili. This is his bronze medal contest. Unfortunately, he went out in the quarterfinal against a Mongolian that I've never heard of before. We'll talk about him soon. But Shavda Tuashvili, this nice makikomi that he's been doing recently. So it was the quarterfinal that he went out against Badzaya. Badzaya ranked in the hundreds at under 73, but he's actually coming down from under 81. Having a, a lot more success here. And he just threw everyone really strong throws. He has a nice Osotogari. Can't believe it was a Wazari. I would have given that an Ipon. Check out this counter to the, the inside Kochi from Blue. Just amazing Tewaza for the Ipon. And then here forcing his opponent to take an inside grip. And then goes on the outside with the Tiny Otoshi. Really nice stuff. So that's Batsaya. Keep an eye out for him at under 73. Could be a bit of a problem for a lot of people if he stays at this weight category. Borchashvili, very Georgian name, but not competing for Georgia. Competing for Austria, and he had a pretty good performance as well. Nice drop down here, Nagi here. So next, we'll get into some Ipons, then we'll have a look at some nice Newaza, and of course the bronze medal contests later on. Here, Senocha started out well. Really nice combination there. But correct me if I'm wrong, Sandocha hasn't had a gold medal finish since taking that World Championship back patch last year, so I think he's on a bit of a downward slope at the moment. Maybe he needs a haircut, that could do it for him? I'm not too sure. Kabanadze, I mean this is a great throw against Sandocha. Just didn't stop. And Sandocha did all he could to defend that. Nice Seri Otoshi here, off the Osoto. This one here, great counter, picks him up, dumps him, not sure what to call that technique, but amazing judo nonetheless. This one here, Sturpu, I really enjoyed Sturpu throughout the day, but he got countered here. And I love this sort of judo, I'm never sure who's going to get it, put it back and forth. Bit of Ashiwaza for you guys now, nice fake to the Tani Otoshi. And here's something similar, this time a Kosodo. Same idea, fake on the inside, go outside. And another one for you guys. This one, probably call it a Yoko Otoshi. They're also similar, but also somewhat different. Here he is, this time throwing someone, Sturpu. And he obviously took bronze later on. I actually think I'll have a look at one of Stupa's matches in another video. He had a really good, good match in the bronze medal contest. Nice rotation here, moving his opponent onto him. And Estrada, I like what he did here. He just kind of shrugged his opponent onto him several times before going back for the Uranage. Turayev gets a Wazari here. I'm kind of surprised his opponent didn't get done for head diving, but then here, a really nice Uchimata Skushi. Actually, if you have a look in the slow-mo, starts out as a Skushi, but then Turayev somehow gets his foot on the inside, finishes it with an Uchimata. Quick Tayatoshi here. I love Tayatoshi so much, but it's just one of the throws I can never seem to do. So good. Really flexible Uranage here. I mean, you got to be careful. You can get countered in these situations, but this time, I mean, just full commitment and gets the score. Another Georgian going out. So we'll see what day three brings, but I'm really waiting for a Georgian to get gold. I feel like they just should be on, on top of the podium with the Japanese all the time. A lightning fast Seori Nugget there. And another Seori Nugget here. Nice pull to get her on her back. Watch the pull, this is a really nice pull. On the way back, pulling onto her, that's great stuff. So we'll get into some slick now, was it now? A couple of transitions that I really liked. This one, reminiscent of Lipitiliani. I think we should just call this the Lipitiliani turnover, to be honest. I mean, he kind of made it his own technique, and he's probably got more Ipons with it than anyone else. 
gets a leg out here and then doesn't go for the reverse Kesegatame that Libertiliani likes to go for but gets it anyway and this one here really nice what he does with the legs so he gets the roll over and we all know what's going to happen here he's going to look to kick that thigh down get his leg out I mean, he's already locked up the top half but watch the knee slide the knee slide there I mean that was pretty slick and his opponent just can't believe that he couldn't resecure the leg there next we get into the bronze medal results so this is Cassis from Spain nice bit of Newaza here continuing with that slick Newaza theme but does everything right got the hands in the right position and watch the the right hand go through the belt soon as he gets the turnover really strong turnover this you can go both directions depending on how they defend so Cassis he took one bronze shoved out to us really we talked about him he took the other one and of course Batsaya he took gold at under 73 under 81 Cavaliers he also decided his contest with a little bit of Nawaza as well this was unfortunate his opponent Gochiladze, another Georgian, another Georgian missing out on a medal. So, so far it's only shoved out Tashvili and Sadalashvili who took silver yesterday at under 60. Sorry, I forgot about that one. I'm pretty sure those are the only two Georgians at the moment who've got gold medals. Although, day three, looking like a Georgian day, in my opinion. Stopu, he took the other bronze at under 81. I'm going to look at this fight in more detail later against Gurbekov, but just a, a good fight back and forth between those two. The ladies now. Tazudu from Greece. And he just pulled out this awesome throw here. She took out Vanderdijk in the finals with Shidos. So another good victory for her. Bronze medal contest. And I'm going to butcher this name. Skotsimaro from Germany. She took bronze. And also Esposito. She took the other bronze as well. I'm not sure. Is this Esposito and the Esposito at under 81? Are they related? Isn't there an Esposito at under 90s as well? I feel like there's a family, a family there all doing judo. At under 63, we had Renshaw from Great Britain. She's been doing pretty well recently. Had a third place finish at the Tel Aviv Grand Slam, I think recently. And another person who's been doing really well recently is Hacker. Hacker from Australia. You don't see too many Australians getting medals in judo, but she had a great bronze medal contest, throwing her opponent twice. I'm not from Australia, from New Zealand, but still, it's good to see people from my part of the world doing well in the judo scene. And the last bronze medal at under 63 went to size Manska. So that's it, guys. Stay tuned for day three. And of course, the Top Epons video coming soon. Peace.